Hello everyone, uh, R. Jerome Harris from uh, DVD Copy Blog and this video is a review and a demonstration on how to use ConvertX to DVD. What is ConvertX to DVD? Well, it is a program that allows you to create your own DVD movies. You become the creator and the producer. And the way it works is, is that you take video files that you may have taken from your digital cameras or ones that you download from the internet and you bring them into this interface right here and you insert a blank DVD into your DVD writer and you click convert. So this is one of the best, if not the best program that you will find that allows you to create DVD movies that play back on your home entertainment system DVD player, just like a regular DVD that you own or you rent from any DVD store. All right, so let me demonstrate it for you. And these are my recommended settings. Uh, they work very well for me and they may work very well for you. So the first thing that you wanna do here is uh, go to settings and let's click on the general tab. And I would recommend uh, here that you create a working folder. This is where a convert X to DVD will operate on your video files, uh, preparing them to burn to a DVD. So you want to make sure that this hard drive has plenty of hard drive space. I recommend 20, 30 gigabytes or more. And I would uh, recommend that you check the box that says remember last folder. And down here under theme, uh, you have various themes here that you can select. If you notice as I select them, you'll see changes over here on your interface. I like the default setting because it's minimal. I don't want all that extra stuff. And again, this is my personal preference. And the next thing that you would want to check is go to burning. And here, make sure that the speed that the, the burn result to DVD box is checked and that the speed is set to times four. I recommend that you check the box that says delete folder after a successful burn because what this will do is this will flush out that working folder that you created here after ConvertX to DVD has finished uh, burning your video or movie to a DVD. And that's basically it here in this area. Let's go to the encoding tab and here by default you may find your set to medium quality i think that the high quality is better you get a better result down here is this target size this is the dvd media that you would be burning your video onto so if you're going to be burning it to a dvd5 blank disc then this is what you will select you have the option of selecting a dvd9 the dual layered dvds and this, these are the ones that i use and you can leave the conversion priority to normal. Click OK. Now let's get on with uh, burning the DVD. The easiest way to get your movies in here is to simply drag and drop the movie. So I have a folder over here off the screen. Here we go. And I am going to drag this folder, or rather this movie, into the control panel. And there it is. If you happen to have a subtitle that goes with the movie, oftentimes ConvertX to DVD will import the subtitle for you. Uh, if it doesn't, simply right click on this right here and say add subtitle channel and you can navigate to that folder. If you should have one, select it and say save and it imports it for you. Now let's talk about these uh, two items right here, menu and the actual movie right here. If you expand the very top one up here, menu. That's what you see over here. And you can give, change this name here. By default, it's called My DVD. I'm gonna name this here, The Count of Monte Cristo. And if you would like, see there it is right there. And if you'd like, you can change that, this background image so what I do is I go to Google Images and I'll find the actual cover. And that's what I've already done. So I'm gonna select this, just double click on it, and navigate to the folder where I downloaded that cover. And here's one here, I'll select that and then say open. And it imports it right here. And that's basically all that you have to do in this section right here. If you want to customize your menus, put that back the way it was. And the next one here, I'm gonna expand this out 
And basically in here, there's nothing else that you'll need to do. I just want to show you what's in here. You have your actual your audio stream here. Depending on the movie that you're going to be uh, burning, you may see more than one language in here. But this is telling me here that this movie is encoded with the English language. It's an MP3 audio file. Excellent audio frequency here, 48,000 hertz. It's in stereo at 112 kilobits per second. And that is it. So once you've finished doing that, come down here to where it says convert and click convert. I recommend at this point, go ahead and insert a blank DVD, DVD-R, DVD-RW into your DVD writer and then click convert. Convert extra DVD goes through the process of preparing that video file so that it can be burned down to a blank DVD. Down here, you're being told here that uh, we've got about 18 minutes for this converting process to begin. This does not include the burning process. It's going to take about maybe five to seven minutes to burn the DVD once this converting process is complete. So you're talking about what, uh, 18 minutes plus uh, say six minutes, about uh, 25 minutes uh, from start to finish to convert and to burn that video onto a blank DVD. So this is Convert X to DVD. I highly recommend this application because it's so easy to use. Uh, I've used it for years. It has never cranked out or produced a bad video. I should add too that uh, you can also pull into the control panel here multiple video files. So say, say if you took videos of a wedding and you've got say 10 videos on your digital camera of a wedding or some sporting event or whatever the event is, well, you can drag them all in here and uh, you can create a menu for each one and then click convert and the convert extra DVD will take care of the rest. You also have a very nice help menu here that you can go to to get additional help on using the program. This is R. Jerome Harris from DVD Copy Blog. Hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you for listening.